All right, guys. So I'm doing a top ten list, and um, finally got it completed. Um, got the list beside me, but I kept it like I had it started with the list. I was trying to go through the shelves and just pick one per shelf because they were kind of the same thing. I don't want to overload it with other stuff, but um, the list of thirty went down to like twelve, and these were the two that just didn't quite make it, and it really blew me away. God, it was dusty. <laughs> Because, I mean, this one's fairly new, but, like, I mean, it's still excellent, you know. I mean, there's still tens in my book, but, um, so this is, like, the, uh, older Marvel Legends Little Figure Sandman, which I did review on. And I've not mentioned this one much before, but this is the, uh, Optimus Prime Masterpiece. I forgot what MP is, but he's got an MP, I don't know. I forgot the trailer and Spike and, like, the little cart that goes with it, too. Um... It's in my closet somewhere. I just kind of want to bring them out like I got them on my shelf. But, um, one more thought about there was a Transformer, I think. Just past this figure. Um, uh, Optimus is still my favorite Transformer, but yeah, there was just one figure that kind of blew me away. You know, when I finally got it, I was just like, I can't believe I got this. But, anyways, those are the two runners up, and I'm going to start from the bottom up. So the next one will be number 10. Alright, so at number 10, um, this is the Android Crane, um, you know, like, the whole, like, all of them are so awesome, they're so close, but, like, I try to pick one that was from the Animated Turtles, um, this really, you know, stuck out to me, I never did a review on it, but, like, I just love just how well this is put together, um, the size is perfect, you know, when you line it up with everything else has that little high difference, not like chrome dome almost. God, I got some scuffing right there. Um, and this one was kind of hard to find at first. Like, I remember buying it off Marketplace, you know, paying a little bit more, but then I saw it at every Target and then it just disappeared. So, I don't know, it was weird. And now it's supposedly going for, I don't know, close to three figures, I don't know. I haven't checked in a while, but that's what I still remember. But I mean, I just love the detail to this. Crane fits in there great. Um, the only issue I had was like trying to get the torso on there right. So I mean, it was, it latches on the sides here. So it was like kind of just squeezing on there real hard. And I thought it was pretty good, but it seemed to be okay. Um, I mean, I've had mine for. I think I've had this for at least two years now, and um, I think it's pretty good. I mean, I haven't messed around with it much. I know it's fell over here and there, but yeah, so it holds out good. And um, came with it. The... There it goes. That's one thing I forgot to mention is that it sucks about it. It's like the feet are so small, but that's just like the cartoon was. So. Um, yeah, it's cartoon accurate. Um, and with these two, I'm not going to dig out all the accessories, but it does come with a lot of accessories. Like, it even comes with, like, a shower cap and, like, a towel and all that stuff. Like, when Android was taking a bath, I don't know, it's really weird, but it was on the cartoon. But anyways, that's number 10, so on to the next one. All right, so at number 9, this is a Gallus, um, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, this is part of the Mytho Mythic Legions, um, which I've only got like two of these. I got one that's like kind of like a, um, demon looking one, and then I've got this one. And, I mean, they're excellent figures, it's just something I haven't really got into. Um, you know, they're not like based off anything, they're just kind of, the people made them off their imagination. Um, it's some of the people that made like the, uh, Masters of the Universe early mid 2000s and some other people as well but when i saw this it just blew me away because i'm fairly patriotic um you know the wings are just amazing uh and there's like just no issues at all i mean it's a six inch figure i think this is like 50 bucks when it came out and i mean I, there's no pain issues at all so um I do have like issues trying to get it to stand some and I end up kind of leaning on the wings a lot 
which isn't bad, but still. Um, it's just really well done. I mean, even like it's got extra feet too, that like are claws and all that. And, um, even though my hands are like, you know, feathered and stuff, so. But yeah, this is one that just, you know, when I saw it, I think it came out initially and then like they kind of reissued it and this is that one like the second edition or whatever and i was like oh yeah i'm gonna get it and glad i did um it doesn't really fit so it ends up just kind of in random places on my shelf but i still love it it still stands out I mean, if anybody sees it they're just kind of like oh man what's that and i'm just you know still rave about it so anyways that's number nine on my list all right, so number eight on my list is the Build a Fairy Charm I came out a couple years ago. Um, there's kind of like two stories to this. So like, um, the first one was I was really big into like the X Men figures that came out, like the um, little three, three or four inch store biz ones. Um, and I remember I really, really wanted a strong guy, you know. And uh, I actually found it like some random family dollar. And that's just like one vivid memory I have. Like strong guy is getting that figure and how excited it was. It's long gone now though, but like, you know, this definitely is better. Um, the next story I have is that, you know, this wave I was hunting. Like, I mean, I was just like, I've got to get this wave. Whenever I find out I'm gonna get it, I don't care. And I think this was right when COVID hit. So this must've been like early 2020 maybe during that summer, and I was at a Target, and I had called and they reserved like um, three or four of them. And I looked on the shelf, I think I needed, I think it was six pieces and I needed um, five, like I only had one or something. And on the shelf I found two, and then the guy had reserved the other three. And this manager came out of the blue. So, forgot this guy's name, but this was at Haynes Mall Boulevard in Winston-Salem, that Target. And I've never had good service there. Every Target I go to is great, but that one is just always something awful. But this toy manager or whatever came up to me and said like, you can't take so many. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, you have to leave some for other people. And I'm like, for who? <laughs> I was like, look around, you know? I'm not trying to be greedy, but I mean like, you know, I'm here to buy them all, what's stopping me? And I mean like, I just was grabbing him and he was trying to like snatch them out of my hand and stuff and I just looked at him funny like dude are you serious like I'm 6'2 300 pounds this guy was like 5'4 so I mean I ain't gonna take no crap from someone like that but anyways um you know I picked up up picked up the mall I think he grabbed one which I'm not gonna fight him for and eventually found the rest so you know it's like a life or death experience like <laughs> going to fight these figures so um, anyways, um, yeah, no, like, this isn't very popular. When it first came out, it was kind of getting some hype, and then it just kind of died, and I don't know. I still love it. Like, the color stands out. The legs are pretty basic, but, I mean, it's just got the whole look, you know? They got the, the jacket and the arms right, the face right. I mean, they just nailed so much on this figure. Even, like, the big button here for the, um chest and all the detail and everything like that um this kind of throws me off but i guess you have to kind of pick a color and silver it's okay maybe blue would have been a little better but i don't know um but yeah that is number eight so anyways on to number seven all right, so number seven is, I don't know, I'm not trying to cheat, but, like, I don't really care. I'm just picking what I want, you know. Um, so there's more Marvel and X-Men and stuff. Well, I'll just say at least more Marvel in the way. Um, so this is a Sauron build figure. Um, this may have been the second Marvel Legends build figure I got, because I remember there was, like, Bishop, some Deadpools with a wave, and, you know, it was kind of like, I was at that point where I'm like, I'm gonna bite the bullet and buy these figures I don't want just for these pieces, but I did anyways. Um, and this one just, it blows me away, it really does. It's just, the detail in it is just fantastic. Um, 
I mean, there's just scales, details everywhere. The mouth, like all the teeth, articulation in the mouth, the red eyes. The wings have kind of like this glossy. The elements are like translucent. I don't know if you can see that, but like you can kind of see some of the color of my fingers behind it. So they did a good job with that. Um, made a belt that was kind of flimsy, but you know, rides on the hips. Um, and then the tail too, which the tail just kind of goes up and down and twists. I will say the only thing that kind of sucks about this figure is it takes up a lot of space. Like it's hard to like do anything concise with the wings. I you know if I use that word. Um, an issue with this right arm like it's just not one to rise but anyway um so the wings spread out also too like the tail kind of sticks out too and there's not really a whole lot you can do with it i will say that the tail really does help balance in this character because you know that's kind of the work for it um i mean yeah there might be some issues here and there with it but like it just, you know, there's nothing else like it, you know. I mean, the only thing I really compare this to is like Pin Fang Foom, but Pin Fang Foom is a gigantic version of this. So, um, anyways, this is number seven, and on to number six. Alright, so number six, I didn't realize I made this Pin Fang Foom comments with Sauron. To look back, with this, like, oh dang, I put Pin Fang Foom at number six, but it is what it is. Um, so actually I just got this today, but I've seen this, you know, a number of times over the years, so I know kind of what to expect with it, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty much in everybody's top 10 figures collections. Female's got Marvel Legends and collects figures. This ends up being everybody's top 10. And I did a review on it recently, actually, just a couple hours ago, so I'm not going to go much back into detail, but I mean, it's just amazing, you know. Really surprised I actually own this now and just blown away by it still. So I'm still in awe of it. You know, didn't crack my top five, but definitely my top 10. So that is number six and on to number five. All right, so number five, um, this is the Masterpiece Transformer that I mentioned that basically beat out um, Top of Us Prime. Um, so this is one like I've been looking for for a long time. Like I'd found Soundwave kind of individually or you come with like one cassette, but I was really looking for this set that had all the cassettes and finally found it. Um, actually found this at the same place, um, that I found Optimus Prime at, um, at me comics in Greensboro. So if you're ever like in that area looking for Transformers, um, how is his name? Reggie is the owner or manager. He's really into Transformers and has like this really good collection in the back. Um, so yeah, I think we pointed out in the Toy Hunt videos too a couple of times, but yeah, it's really impressive. And he has good deals too. He'll work with you on prices and trades and stuff. But anyways, um, so it's got five. There's actually one here in his chest. Um, I forgot who this was. Oh, it's another bird. I like laser beak here. I always want to put one in his chest, so he's like rejecting one. And I had it where it was kind of half coming out, but just doesn't quite work. I don't know. Um, but got these two guys. I don't think I remember. I don't remember the names, but I remember crack the shell and then crack the nuts inside from the movie. So then laser beak and ravage. And, you know, for the most part, these have kind of been abbreviated, but they're trying to get the scale of the Transformer. I mean, the sound wave's just fantastic. So, um, this thing actually ejects. And my cassette is kind of stuck in there. Well. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, I'll deal with that later. Um, and then I have like the Megatron gun, so you got that. Um, I mean, the color, everything's just done so well. 
if you've got EMS for these Transformers and Esselin them before, you know just what you're getting yourself into. But yeah, it's just it's dusty as all get out. But yeah, I love it. So that's number five. All right, so at number four, this is Doctor Doom, the Marvel Legends that came with the um, um, Super Scroll build figure. Um, so this is it here. Um, so I don't really mention or anything, but like Doctor Doom is my favorite overall comic book character. Um, just love the fact that he's just super smart and really empowers. He's a dictator. Has all this cool stuff with him. Um, and this does come to like other oh, accessories as well. Like I believe there's another head, maybe. Um, but I love just how well this was done. I mean, just the kind of dark silver, the detail in the face, how well the cloak was done. Um, you know, even like the little jetpacks in the back, that's really cool. Um, also too, you have the gun here. I don't pull it out or anything, but it's like ulcer there. And I mean, just as a classic Doctor Doom, this was, this was it. You know, this, you know, I've got the other ones that I've posted, like the uh, Fantastic Four in the package. I've got the white Gawking Doom, I guess it was. And, um, but yeah, this is, this is almost my favorite Marvel legend, so. It's kind of like a hint at the next ones. But anyways, this is number four. Alrighty, so number three. Um, this is my favorite figures from the TMT wave. So there's no more left on the list for those two. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? So this is a two-pack. I mean, like, I had to go with both of them. I'm not trying to cheat or anything. It's just one without the other. It just don't make sense. Um, God, just the detail is so good on this. I mean, they have like a real tiny chains on his chest piece. And just the weight of it too, like it just feels weighty. Um, this one here, like, uh, what gets me is like it's pokey. Just have to be careful while you grab it. I've got fairly soft hands, so it don't really bother me, but... Got his mouth that opens up. And I love that they did the eyebrows too. So you can look confused or angry just with eyebrows. I and mean, they did a great job with that. Um, I mean, I really need to do a review of this one of these because they're just so well made. Um, I mean, just the detail. I'll turn it both around and just in the back so you can see. Yeah, I mean, I know these were released in late 2020. And I got real lucky. I didn't order it, but like I found a guy that was selling it basically what cost. Um, so I ran up there and grabbed it, met the dude or whatever. But like, um, supposedly they're re-releasing these. There was like a NECA toy show that they posted and there's some pre-orders and these two here are um, getting re-released. Uh, as far as I know, there's no updates or anything. It's just, you know, new figures. And I think when they first came out, there were 80 for a two-pack. I imagine that's going to go up. I wouldn't surprise me if it goes up to 100 bucks. But I still think it's worth it. They're just two amazing figures. Um... You know, honestly, according to the list, especially, this is probably the two best NECA figures I've ever seen. I mean, just, you know, I still got the Danny and Ultimate April note open up and some other stuff, but these are just amazing. They blew me away. You know, even taking them out, I haven't really messed with them in a couple months or just, they still blow away every time. Anyway, so that's number three and down to the last two. All right, so number two, I'm cheating a little bit, but, um, if you've seen any of the toy reviews or toy videos, shouldn't be surprised that this pops up on the list. And this is one that I was just insanely excited about. Finally got it, got it at a decent price and don't regret it at all. You know, basically just built a diorama around it. Um, 
I'm not going to go into a bunch of detail. I didn't want to remove it because everything's kind of hinged on this rim. of like, I think Wolverine down here is, where is he? Right there. He's kind of leaned up against it. So, but yeah. Anyways, so that is number two. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what in the world could be number one if this gigantic thing is number two? Well, let's find out. Alrighty, so number one is this figure. This is the build a figure apocalypse that came out um, a few years ago. It's like 2018. If I'm reading that right. Let's see, I'm reading. I guess 2018, so four years ago. Huh. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is the one that started um, collecting. I figured it had been a little longer, but yeah, I guess, well, about four years I've been collecting these and, you know, building this collection. I know I moved at the time, so. Ooh, that four year time span is um, making more sense now. But um, this was a really cool wave. So this came with like um, Psylocke, Multiple Man, uh, Black Suit, Magneto, Tiger Stripe, Wolverine. I mean, there's just a lot of good figures in the wave. And, you know, I had, I've kind of gotten out of the Toy Biz Marvel Legends before because of the Builder Figure thing because I thought it was a money grab. And this really brought me back. So several years down the road, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is what started it all. I'm a huge Apocalypse fan. He's probably my favorite Marvel Legends figure villain. Um, and it's hard to review this because, you know, obviously it's not perfect. Um, it's dang close though. I mean, that face still looks great. Um, Oh, the shoulder pads still look good. The neck still looks good. Um, cause the hoses are still good. I think the hoses came separate. I'm trying to remember how that went. I think they came with like Wolverine or something like that. And like, it was just weird how it worked. Um, these little things go over the feet, just kind of hang over it though. And yeah, I do have the um, piece of arch. Arc, uh, Archangel. It's like um, an alternate hand. I forgot what's like a pincher or something like that. It may be two things. I'm not sure. But I do have that. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, beyond like just the, how good this figure looks, um, it has like a, I guess you could say, sentimental value because it started it all. Um, I mean, it still looks great today. It's still. As a strong place in my heart for this one, and I always put it beside Mr. Sinister, and I always put him with the X Men villains, and it's just one piece. Like, uh, I've moved a couple times since I've gotten him, and he's like one of the ones I've kind of get a sense of relief when I put him in a storage crate and move, and I'll be like, okay, he's good, you know, it's not messed up. So, um, but yeah, that's my top 10, um, you know. I think subjectively, you know, some of this stuff could change tomorrow. <laughs> like I just, you know, when I look and because I keep doing these reviews, I'm kind of looking off the side of the uh, figures that I miss. And I feel like another day like this might pop in there, but you know, honestly, like at least this one, this would be number one and probably number one for a while unless something just comes out and just takes that away. But uh, yeah. It's my top 10. I imagine everybody else is going to be different. You know, there's no definitive top 10 list except for mine. Nah, I'm just joking. But, um, I, I feel like they, they have to tell people that every time they look at a top 10 list, like, this isn't the definitive top 10 list. Like, you know, I respect people's intelligence more than that. That, um, you know, this is my top 10, so everybody else is going to be different. And if you disagree with mine, that's cool. You know, it's not like it really matters that much. It actually just kind of makes it more interesting. Like, you know, because I never see this figure like in a top 10. I always see like the Toy Biz one, like the big one that was kind of like the size of Sentinel. 
um, which I like that one a lot too. I don't have any more, but um, yeah, I always thought this one looked a little better, and the other one looked like kind of like it had skinny legs or arms or something. I don't know. This always threw me off, but anyways, that is my number one. You know, this list was kind of difficult to do. Like, um, I wrote, like I said before, a list of like 30. I narrowed down from 30 to like 12. I think it went down to 15, then 12. And then finally I topped in, and then ranking those was even tougher. So I can imagine anybody else says this, how hard it would be. And I mean, my collection's not massive either. It's pretty modest. And it's probably going to stay that way for a while. Um, so, anyways, thanks for watching. You know, comment, see what you think. You know, there's some figures that you think should have made the list. You know, obviously this is just stuff I got in my collection. I don't, you know, I'm not going to speculate and rank something that's not even in there. But anyways, um, hope you all enjoyed watching this and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.